How vegan does one have to eat, though, to sufficiently lower our level of arachidonic acid intake? I mean, our body's already making some. Is eating just like one egg a day going to significantly increase our blood levels? We didn't know until last year. This group of Japanese researchers gave women just one egg's worth a day, and found that dietary arachidonic acid increased the arachidonic acid level in all fat fractions of the blood, even at a very low dietary dose. Now the meat industry realizes this is a problem, and they're currently exploring ways to genetically manipulate chickens to lower arachidonic acid levels in chicken muscle to produce meat with health benefits. The egg industry appears to be getting even more desperate. Feeding laying hens seal blubber. Uh, see, the annual Canadian seal hunt evidently produces 16,000 tons of blubber every year, which can be used for animal feed. And indeed, if you feed laying hens diets containing 5% seal blubber, you can drop the arachidonic acid levels in eggs to as much as 34%, making eggs significantly less harmful. Any amount, though, in chicken and eggs is in excess of what our body needs. Making arachidonic acid is like playing with fire. Our body makes just enough and no more. The Colonel and the clubber may want to feed us a little extra, but our own body knows best.